Hello everyone and welcome to another SMS inventory update video. This video is just showing all the parts kits that I have. Get uh, the payments and shipping out of the way for anybody who's wondering. Uh, PayPal or money order and uh, the kit will be shipped once everything clears obviously. Shipping uh, US only if you live outside the US and you really want to pay the shipping fees then I don't mind. Uh, I'll get a quote for everything. But I do uh, USPS with tracking number Kit shipped within two or three days, you know, unless something comes up, but I always keep contact with everyone, so, you know, if there's a problem on either end, then uh, we'll get it sorted out. And... Alright, let's start with the 48 Ford Woody kit. And before I start as well, I'm not sure if I already stated this, but I can ship these with or without the box. So, this kit right here, being it's such in a large box, it's going to cost a little bit more. So, if you're not worried about the box, then by all means, tell me and I'll give you a quote without the box. Like I said, here is what's in here and if anybody wants to see more details on these parts then uh, I can make another video, that's no problem. This is just a general overview, but this is basically just your body and uh, interior parts. It's missing uh, drivetrain, I think the frame, suspension, wheels, tires, engine, transmission, all that stuff. And uh, see, there is got the whole chrome parts here. You got your clear parts, sealed. You have the instructions, and I believe the decals should be in here. Yeah, the decals are in here as well. So there's those. There is the 41 Woody kit. Here's the USA One Monster Truck Kit. I did a review on this. This is the 132nd scale snap tight kit. And it is missing the wheels and tires. But everything else is in there. Instructions. Uh, I think there's decals to this too. And all the other parts are in there. Just the wheels and tires. So I took those to use on the oil field truck. If you haven't checked out the oil field truck, feel free to go check it out pretty sweet build so there's that oh yeah remember that's 132nd scale and it's a snap tight AMT 96 Corvette collector's edition this is the original release of this released in 1995 and it is missing as with all these kits pretty much it's missing drivetrain wheels and tires decals here and you can see it's got body and interior and all that kind of stuff just missing wheels, tires, engine, I think exhaust is in here so there's that parts from the Revell 77 Chevy van there really isn't a whole lot in this kit uh, you got your instructions and I think decals are in here as well okay, you got all the decals and it looks like there's a frame, spare tire, interior bucket, front seats, like captain type chairs, dashboard, and uh, center console, and that looks about it, so not much there. The Limburg Off-Road 4x4 F-150. It's a pretty detailed kit for being a Limburg, but it is missing, as with all the kits. Engine, drivetrain, wheels, tires. It comes with the body, frame. All the chrome needed for the body and everything, bumpers, light bezels, side mirrors. It's got your bed, interior, should have instructions and decals as well. So there is the Lindbergh F-150. 77 GMC record truck parts. I know there's been quite a few people who have asked about these. And uh, so here's what we got. And I'm even going to throw in the sleeper from the Revell 359 kit. Cut that off of there, I don't need it. So, you know, if you want that, you don't, whatever, I'll throw it in there anyway. I have no use for it. And we got the cab. Interior looks like it has a coat of paint on there, probably enamel. It's got the whole bed. It does not include the uh, wrecker assembly itself, but it does have the bed, front and rear suspension, no wheels, tires. I think it's missing the uh, air cleaner, but I think the top half of the engine's in there. 
and uh, decals, instructions, pretty sure they're in there. If not, I'll, I should be able to find them. So if you are interested in that, uh, let me know or I'll make another video. So there's that. So last but not least, I actually saved this kit. It was in pretty bad shape. It had water damage all over it and it was just kind of gross and I washed everything and anyway so nonetheless it looks like a really good kit now but this is a I don't know if I wrote it on here anyway I think it's like a 90 mid 90s release I believe but I just cut the top off this was the only part that was good out of the whole thing but it is a complete kit but it is quite a bit older I did cut some of the parts up and did some mocking up but None of nothing's painted that I can tell and like I said I can take everything out and show you guys more but I don't think I modified or did anything to it I had a lot of plans for it but um, yeah so it's it's a pretty good kit I mean I've seen I looked online and seen the prices it, it goes for and I think I got it for a pretty good deal for I got it in a lot of a bunch of kits you know months and months back but really just don't have any use for it but it is a pretty cool kit and uh, if I didn't have so many other projects and I wouldn't have got into it as late as I did, I probably would want to still build it, but I figured I'd pass it on to one of you guys, so if anybody's interested in that, uh looks like it's a pretty good build-up. I mean, everything seemed like it mocked up pretty nice to me. And, uh, yeah, so that's the most complete out of all these parts kits, which I guess this isn't even technically a parts kit, but I don't have a... a regular box for it or anything like that. Oh, another thing too is being that it is an older uh, an older release, uh, some of the chrome parts are actually kind of faded and the decals probably aren't very good anymore if there are. Actually, I think I had to get rid of the decals. Um, but yeah, so if somebody's wanting to do, you know, a project with that, then, you know, by all means let me know. So that wraps up this inventory update video. If you are interested in any of these kits, please send me a personal message. First come, first serve. But I'd really like to get rid of all these to one person. That would be nice, but I don't think it's going to work that way because these are kind of different kits and I don't think everybody's going to have the same interest. But like I said, send me a personal message, work something out. I am up for offers. I'm not looking for any trades at the moment. Like I said, I'm trying to get rid of some kits. I've set a, uh, a little quota limit for myself of how many kits I can keep, the ones I'm building, and i got to get rid of the rest, and I'll make another video on all the whole sealed kits or complete kits that I have here in another video. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, we can work something out. Uh, appreciate all the views. You guys are a really good audience, and I'll talk to you soon.